Hey there. Welcome to part two of our Shopify tutorial. Um, in part one, we talked about how to install the Reamaze app, get the Reamaze Shopbox widget installed onto your site. And we did a little bit of basic customization um, in terms of the colors. So, sorry about that. In terms of the colors and the, um, uh, the, the icon triggers. And we also added some form fields and also a checkbox as well as hidden fields. So we did all of that in the first tutorial. So if you're looking for that tutorial, um, there should be a link next to um, this video. In part two, we want to show you guys how to actually um, use the same widget. Okay. Uh, but instead of showing the contact form first, we want to show the knowledge base first. Now this is called the self-service mode and it allows the customer to actually search for some of their own answers um, before actually typing out a message and sending it to you. And this is, you know, this is really a really good option sometimes if you want, if you have a really robust knowledge base and you want to share that with customers, uh, this is the perfect way to do that. So we're going to teach you guys how to do that right now. So in the first tutorial, um, so this is the uh, Shopify dashboard again. In the first tutorial, um, you use the widget builder to design the widget and also copy and paste the JavaScript into your theme.liquid template. Uh, we don't have to do that again, um, just because uh, we've already done that and the, the code is already there. We just need to modify it a little bit. So let's go ahead and go to the online store and let's go back to edit HTML and CSS again and click on the theme.liquid template. Okay, so now that we're here, uh, one thing you'll need uh, to implement, implement this is just go to our developer docs. Okay, so it's reamaze.com slash developer and you'll want to click on basic shopbox integration. And as you can see on the top, it says contact mode. Now, in the second portion, it says self-service mode. And the thing you want to copy here for the installation is just this line right here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this. It says support UI lightbox mode equals KB, which stands for knowledge base. So after you copy that, go back to your theme.liquid template. Look for the Reamaze JavaScript, which is right here. Okay, this is what we pasted last time. Now. We're going to paste it right beneath um, this uh, between account and UI. Okay. So we're going to go enter and just hit paste. That's all you need to do. Okay. Click save. Now let's refresh the, the site. Click on the widget and voila, this shows, this now shows the knowledge base first. Okay. And if the customer still wants to contact you through the, through the form or live chat or direct messaging, all they have to do is click contact us. Okay. Perfect. Uh, and remember, um, this shoutbox widget is live chat. It is direct messaging, and it is also an email, uh, depending on your logged in state. So if you're if you're logged in to your dashboard and live chat is on, that shoutbox widget becomes live chat. If you're logged in and it's off, it becomes direct messaging. And you're if you're off completely, as in you're not even on the dashboard, you're on the go and you're in mobile, it becomes email. Okay, so that seamlessly transitions customers so they don't have to worry about not being able to be able to find you or you worrying about not receiving their message. Um, and also remember that in order to do the knowledge base first, you'll need to actually have some knowledge base articles. So that's right here. Uh, and if you want to watch a tutorial on how to create our knowledge base articles, just go ahead and watch our tutorial video on that. I'll link it below. And that should be it. Uh, for part three, we're actually going to talk about how to embed the knowledge base right onto the site. So stay tuned for that. Thanks.